Hey, it's me, KG Chris Gardner, owner of the Houston Round Ball Review, local name, global perspective. First things first, the G League Elite Camp Day 1. They changed up the streaming platform from Twitch to Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter almost at the last minute. So my earlier May 16th one on none was kind of, was inaccurate. It wasn't on Twitch. The games were on YouTube where I watched them. Twitter and Facebook. You can go to the D League pages to get the uh, links for tomorrow's action for day two. But I just want to touch on a couple of things. How the uh, players who had ties to the Houston Cougars did in day two, in game two of day one of the Elite Camp for the G League prospects. 44 prospects invited to participate in this two, two day event for the G League. And the best players, best prospects of these two days will get invites to the NBA Draft Combine, which starts on Wednesday, May 18th and lasts through May 22nd. Based on his performance in the second game of today, I got to say, Marcus Sasser would not shock me if he gets an invite to the NBA Draft Combine. He played very well today. Marcus, in 21 minutes, 23 points, 7 for 13 from the floor, including 4 for 8 from 3. Five for five from the foul line, seven rebounds, four assists, one steal, and just one turnover. All that in 21 minutes of action. Teammate from this year, Fabian White, in 15 minutes, four points, two for seven from the floor, zero for, and zero for three from the three point line, zero for two from the foul line, three boards, and two assists. Former Coog and TSU Texas Southern. Player for this past season, UH graduate, by the way, Bryson Gresham, in 60 minutes, did what he does, what he's done, what he did at TSU, what he did at UH. Four points, two for three from the floor, seven rebounds, one assist, and two blocks, as well as talking very well with communication on defense. Bryce did all that in 60 minutes off the bench. Day two of the Elite Camp for the G League takes place Tuesday, May 17th. Schedule times are 4.30 and last till 8.30 Central Time. You can go to the G League's Facebook page, catch it on the Twitter account, and also the G League on YouTube. More content, more info, and don't forget about it. I got to I gotta confirm this, Rocket fans. I just thought about this thought because I got an email from the Indiana Pacers that their GM will have a Zoom call at the conclusion of the lottery announcement, which takes place at 7 o'clock Central. So I'm wondering if the Rockets are going to have a Make Rafael Stone or someone with the Rockets available. Rafael Stone will be in New Jersey at the lottery for the the uh, person representing the Rockets on screen, on TV. So I wonder if there's going to be anyone who talks to the media at the conclusion of the, the um, NBA draft lottery for the Rockets. If so, then obviously that would change the start time for the Let's Talk Houston Rockets that I have planned right now for 7.30 p.m. So if Rockets have media availability after the lottery, then clearly the Let's Talk Houston Rockets will start after the media availability. So just stay tuned to the Houston Round Bar Review on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter at VHR Review, as well as like and subscribe to the Houston Round Bar Review on YouTube. And you can get notifications on my community tab for the Houston Round Bar Review on YouTube. Peace.